Welcome back to the topic microservices and centralized logging. Today we'll discuss how to enable Elasticsearch basic security by enabling default users. Elasticsearch security features provide built-in users and built-in users password need to be set for the first time. Here is the command inside your bin directory you will get Elasticsearch setup password and there are two options auto and interactive. In auto the password will be generated automatically and uh, interactive it will ask you to provide the password and you can set your password as you wish let us create the password uh, before here is my uh, elastic search before starting elastic search one small parameter need to be uh, set in elastic search yeah that security enabled is true i will start my elastic search Elasticsearch is going to start and I need to open another terminal in the bin folder as well. So let's go to that bin folder. CD. And inside that I have one Elasticsearch uh, setup password, one for Windows, one for Linux. So if I Set Elasticsearch, set a password, and then I make it auto. Let's see whether that yeah, Elasticsearch starts. Now I can do, uh, I can execute that. Executing. It's asking for confirmation. And here the password has been generated automatically. If I copy and paste here, yeah, you see that <coughs> you have Elastic. This is a default uh, uh, super admin user, a remote monitoring user. You have Bit System, Loctra System, connecting for Loctra and Kibana for uh, connecting to Kibana. Now I just uh, copying the password and need to configure Kibana. So where is my Kibana? Is my Kibana is also here. So if I open here and if I go to config inside my Kibana config, you will find that Kibana user ID and password. So yeah, here. So I just enable this for connecting. Kibana with Elasticsearch and user is Kibana. Save it and start my Kibana. Let's go to bin folder. CMD. Save it. Kibana. Kibana is starting now. So Kibana started. Uh, here is the default. URL. Uh, let's open that URL. It will ask me username and password. Now I just uh, copy that password. I will use Elastic as a user. Copy here and yeah, save user Elastic and password is this. Login. Yeah, successful login that. Kibana. So you can change the password. How to change the password? I will discuss in another video. Uh, apart from that, I will also show how to generate username and I mean password in interactive mode. Now I will show you how to set up password in interactive mode. Remember, you need to do one-time activity either in auto-generating mode or in interactive mode. Uh, so let's uh, start my uh, elastic search so the elastic search already started now i opened another terminal let's set up the password in interactive mode elastic search set up password set up password and interactive Will ask me to confirm 
Yeah, yes. Elastic password. Let's say I'm putting one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's, uh, it's required six characters. So I'm saying one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. APF system putting the same one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kibana, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Locked system one two three four five six 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 remote monitoring user one two three four five six two three four five six yeah the password already created you can provide your password as required now i will change the password in kibana communication so here in my kibana uh, yeah kibana and uh, if i go to configuration kibana open it here i need to provide one two three four five six save it and uh, uh, i need to start the kibana as well so go to bin folder CMD. Kibana. Kibana is starting now. Kibana already started. Here is the default URL with port number 5601. Open it. 5601. Oh, sorry, it's not copying here. Uh, let's copy from here. and uh, it will ask me to put the username and password and elastic is the username and password one two three four five six login yes uh, so if you go here and go to management you will get the inserts here already enabled so let's go to the user these are the default users we already enabled the password